Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1762, Great Britain declares war on Spain and Naples. In 1774, the first sighting of the Orion Nebula is today. In 1789, the first Congress of the United States meets, and the U.S. Constitution goes into effect. In 1791, Vermont is admitted to the U.S. as the 14th state. Also in 1791, Israel Jacobs takes office as the first Jewish member of the U.S. Congress. In 1792, oranges are introduced to Hawaii. In 1793, George Washington's second inauguration as U.S. President occurs today. His 133-word speech is the shortest ever. In 1794, the 11th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is passed by the U.S. Congress. In 1797, John Adams is peacefully sworn in as President of the United States, succeeding George Washington. Thomas Jefferson is his Vice President. In 1801, speaking of Thomas Jefferson, he is the first U.S. President to be inaugurated in Washington, D.C. It happened today in 1801. In 1809, James Madison becomes the first U.S. president inaugurated in American-made clothing. In 1826, the Granite Railway in Quincy, Massachusetts becomes the first chartered U.S. railroad. In 1829, an unruly crowd mobs the White House during President Jackson's inaugural ball. In 1837, with a population of about 4,200, Chicago, Illinois was incorporated as a city. In 1841, and just the opposite of George Washington's short inauguration speech, today's acceptance speech by new President William Henry Harrison is the longest at 8,443 words. In 1847, Samuel Colt sells his first revolver pistol to the United States government. In 1849, due to his religious beliefs, U.S. President Zachary Taylor delays his swearing-in and inauguration ceremony until tomorrow. In 1861, the first national flag of the Confederate States of America is adopted. It is called the Stars and Bars and is probably not the flag you think it is. Also in 1861, Abraham Lincoln is inaugurated as the 16th U.S. President. In 1863, the Territory of Idaho is established. In 1865, the New York Stock Exchange opens its first permanent headquarters near Wall Street in New York City. Also in 1865, during the second inauguration of U.S. President Abraham Lincoln, John Wilkes Booth is photographed in attendance. He is the man who would assassinate Lincoln. In 1877, Tchaikovsky's ballet Swan Lake has its world premiere in Moscow. In 1884, the extreme left-wing liberal Fabian Society is founded in London, England. In 1888, football coach Newt Rockney was born in Voss, Norway. In 1889, it is announced that the Oklahoma Land Run will open 2 million acres of unused Oklahoma territory to first-come, first-served settlers. In 1890, the fourth rail bridge in Scotland is opened. At 1,710 feet, it is the longest bridge in Great Britain at the time. In 1894, the Great Fire in Shanghai destroys over 1,000 buildings. In 1896, Utah is admitted as the 45th U.S. state. In 1899, the Cyclone Mahina hits land in Queensland, Australia with a 12-meter or over 39-foot wave that reaches up to 5 kilometers or over 3 miles inland killing over 300 people. In 1902, the American Automobile Association, more commonly called AAA, is founded in Chicago. In 1908, the Collinwood School Fire near Cleveland, Ohio, kills 174 people. In 1909, William Howard Taft is inaugurated as the 27th U.S. President during a 10-inch snowstorm. In 1913, the New York Yankees are the first MLB team to train outside of the United States. It was in Bermuda, so I wonder how much training actually got done. In 1917, Jeanette Rankin of Montana is elected as the first female member of the United States House of Representatives. In 1918, the first documented cases of the Spanish flu are recorded today. Eventually, over 25 million people die worldwide. 
Also in 1918, the USS Cyclops departs Barbados in the Caribbean and is never seen again. Was it the Bermuda Triangle, you think? In 1921, Warren Harding becomes the first president of the United States to have his inauguration broadcast on radio. Also in 1921, the Hot Springs National Park is created in Arkansas. In 1922, Nesferatu, the first vampire film, premieres today. In 1924, Happy Birthday to You is published today. Have you heard it? In 1927, upon signing a three-year, $70,000 per season contract with the New York Yankees, Babe Ruth becomes the highest paid player in MLB history. In 1929, Charles Curtis of Kansas becomes the first Native American U.S. Vice President. In 1930, Coolidge Dam in Arizona is dedicated. Also in 1930, Emma Fawning bowls the first sanctioned 300 game by a woman. In 1933, the 32nd U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt is inaugurated today, pledging to pull the U.S. out of the Great Depression by stating, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Also in 1933, Frances Perkins was sworn in as U.S. Secretary of Labor, becoming the first woman appointed to a cabinet post. In 1934, Easter Cross on San Francisco's Mount Davidson is dedicated. In 1937, today was the Ninth Academy Awards. Best movie went to The Great Zigfield. In 1944, World War II's Operation Carpetbagger begins involving the dropping of arms and supplies to resistance fighters in Europe. In 1954, the first successful kidney transplant occurs in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1957, the S&P 500 stock market index is introduced, replacing the S&P 90. In 1958, Sputnik 1 falls to Earth from orbit. In 1959, Luna 1 becomes the first spacecraft to reach the vicinity of the moon. In 1964, Jimmy Hoffa is convicted of jury tampering. In 1965, United States President Lyndon B. Johnson proclaims his Great Society vision during his State of the Union address. In 1966, today is the day that John Lennon says that the Beatles are more popular than Jesus. In 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. announces his plans for the Poor People's Campaign. Also in 1968, the third Academy of Country Music Awards airs. Glenn Campbell and Lynn Anderson are winners. In 1970, the 7.7 Tonghai earthquake strikes in China, killing at least 15,000 people. Also in 1970, the French submarine Eurydice explodes underwater, killing the 57-man crew. In 1973, the 15th Grammy Awards airs. Roberta Flack's First Time Ever I Saw Your Face and soft rock group America are winners. In 1977, Romania's Vrancea earthquake takes over 1,500 lives. Also in 1977, the first Cray-1 supercomputer is shipped. It went to the Los Alamos Laboratories in New Mexico. In 1978, after 103 years, the Chicago Daily News publishes its last issue. In 1979, today the 200th episode of All in the Family aired. In 1980, Robert Mugabe becomes Zimbabwe's first black prime minister. In 1982, Bertha Wilson became the first woman appointed to the Supreme Court of Canada. In 1984, tennis legend Martina Navratilova retains her WTA Tour Championship by beating Chris Evert. In 1985, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approves a blood test for AIDS, which has been used since. Also in 1985, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency bans leaded gasoline. In 1986, the Soviet Vega-1 begins returning images of Halley's Comet and the first images of its nucleus. In 1989, during the second Gulf of Sidra incident, a pair of Libyan MiG-23s are shot down by a pair of United States Navy F-14 Tomcats during an air-to-air -air confrontation. Also in 1989, the Louvre Pyramid is inaugurated by French President Francois Mitterrand. In 1993, Goodbye Girl opens at the Marquis Theater in New York City for 188 performances. I always thought it was more. In 1996, a derailed train in Wisconsin causes the emergency evacuation of 2,300 people 
for 16 days. In 1997, the Senate of Brazil allows women to wear slacks for the first time. Also in 1997, U.S. President Clinton bans federally funded human cloning research. In 1998, the Walaya of Relazine massacres in Algeria occur, where over 170 people are killed in three remote villages. Also in 1998, the Supreme Court of the United States rules that federal laws banning on-the-job sexual harassment also apply when both involved parties are the same sex. In 1999, former professional wrestler Jesse Ventura is sworn in as governor of Minnesota. That worked out well. And yes, I lived there then. In 2009, Canada bans human embryo cloning. In 2004, NASA's Spirit Rover lands successfully on Mars. In 2007, the country of Estonia allows the world's first ever election over the internet. Also in 2007, Nancy Pelosi is elected as the first female Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. In 2012, Vladimir Putin wins the Russian presidential election amid allegations of voter fraud. In 2013, a gunman kills eight people in a house-to-house -house rampage in the Philippines. Also in 2013, the Papal Conclave begins in order to select the successor of Pope Benedict XVI. He was replaced by Pope Francis. In 2018, the world's worst listeria outbreak, which killed 180 people, is tracked to a meat factory in South Africa. Also in 2018, the 90th Academy Awards are aired. Best Picture goes to The Shape of Water, Best Actor is Gary Oldman, and Best Actress is Frances McDormand. In 2019, U.S. Democrats announce a wide-ranging corruption investigation into President Donald Trump. And lastly, in 2020, in an effort to contain COVID-19, Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte announces that all sports in Italy will be played behind closed doors. Hey, so check out more of my videos. I know that you will enjoy them. I put some right in front of you just to make it easy. And don't forget to subscribe.